Hi there, I'm Mike Thornton, and in this series of videos, we're going to get to grips with Isotope's brand new EyeSight metering package. So why metering? Surely it's audio, so why do we need metering? We've got our ears, and it's a question that's often asked. Although our ears are very good at judging sound, they can become accustomed to a new sound, and so aren't very good at absolute measurements. Hence the meter, to be able to measure the sound in absolute terms and present it in a visual form. We've had all kinds of meters over the years, from valve magic eyes, to moving coil meters, to LED biograph meters, as well as oscilloscopes along the way. In developing Insight, Isotope have brought together all the different metering and visualization techniques that they've derived in products like Ozone and RX2, and then added some new features like loudness metering to produce Insight. So Insight features level meters, a spectrogram, spectrum analyzer, a vector scope, and a loudness histograph, all of which together makes an ideal metering and visualization tool for just about every audio discipline. Now through this series, I'll be demonstrating Insight from within Pro Tools, but don't forget it is available in AAX, RTAS, Audio Units, and VST3 for Windows and Mac. Insight started out its life as MeterBridge in Ozone 5, but Isotope have decided to improve it and produce it as a separate product called Insight. Insight will be available separately and will be included in all purchases of Ozone 5 Advanced. And existing Ozone 5 Advanced customers will be able to install Insight for free. So let's take a brief look around the interface, and then in subsequent videos we'll take a look at each of these in more detail. So we can resize modules within the display. So if I want to make those a little bit bigger, I can move it across. If I want to make the spectrum analyzer a little bit bigger, I can do that. But also I can resize the entire window but there is a point beyond which I can't make it any smaller. And equally at that point, I can't resize any of the modules. So let's take it back out to the fill the screen. And then we can minimize and maximize individual modules. So if I don't want to see the spectrum analyzer, I can click the minus key and minimize it. If I don't want to see the spectrogram, I can click the minus key and minimize it. If I want one of the modules to fill the entire screen, then I can hit the plus button and it fills the entire screen. And then when I hit the minimize button, having maximized it, it goes back to the previous version of the display. And any modules that have been minimized become tabs down the bottom here. So again, I can reinstate Spectrum Analyzer simply by clicking that, and that brings the Spectrum Analyzer back in. Click the minus key, it minimizes it, putting it back into the global toolbar. And whilst we're in the global toolbar, there are a couple of things I want to show you. Firstly, we have a presets button, and that brings up a preset window from which we can manage loads and loads of presets. Now the guys at Isotope have really done their homework and created a raft of different metering presets. There's a folder here full of loudness metering. There's another one here full of presets that are useful for music production and we've also got another folder full of useful presets for audio analysis and that really makes the point that Insight is way more than just a loudness meter they really have made it a very versatile metering package which does loudness but does so many other things as well so that's the presets window and we'll look at that in a subsequent video then we have an options window with a number of tabs and each of the tabs relates to some of the sections in Insight. So we have a sound field section so we can change the sound field from a stereo to a surround meter. Now obviously at the moment I'm monitoring a stereo signal so much better to leave it on the stereo mode. We can change the settings of the spectrogram, the spectrum analyzer, we can change the settings for the level meters all from within the options window. And we'll look at each of those settings as we study each module in turn in subsequent videos. 
And then finally, in this menu bar down the bottom, we have the standard isotope help button. You'll often see it in their windows, a single question mark. When you click on that, it opens up the help in your favorite browser, and then you can start looking at what you need to do. There's a full table of contents at the top here, so you, because it's all HTML, if you click on it, it brings it to the appropriate page. So great help menu, and that's available from any window where you see the question mark. So that's a brief overview of Isotope's new Insight metering plugin. I'll see you in the next video.